Hey YouTube, uh, I figured I'd jump on here because I had this problem real quick uh, and show you how to do this. I'm cleaning the carb out a little. I rebuilt it earlier, you know, new gaskets and stuff. I already took the top off, the easiest part, you know, four screws on this two barrel. Um, what I was having problems with is when you accelerate, you're supposed to score fuel here and here, right? Like this. One sec. to have your carb sheet fuel out of both sides like it's doing now what I was having a problem with is it wasn't doing that because this side was clogged so what I did was you know take yourself a screwdriver or whatever you want to use nice size you should get one if you're gonna take it off the first time it's big enough to take this off I just took this one off earlier so it shouldn't be too tight so uh, I'll take this off And uh, try not, <laughs> yeah, don't drop anything in your carb. That's not good. Uh, hopefully it won't go too far. It'll just hit your fence for your air and you can get it. Um, so I'm going to take this out and show you how I did it. Now watch when you take this out. This top will come loose and there's a pin inside. Uh, a little rod of metal, whatever you want to call it. See, this is hollow. And it's hollow, and it has little holes in it to let fuel up through. So I went and cleaned that out too. But um, down in there, there's a little pin you gotta watch, right there, when you pull this up for your jets and whatnot. And then you pull this up, and um, there's your little pin. Don't drop that in anything. But um. On this, I'm trying I'm trying to do this with one hand. So sorry if it's kind of crappy. Um, but I was having problems coming with the fuel coming through these little holes, right there, and right there, right there. Okay. Now there's a lot of little holes on these. I mean, there's holes everywhere. You got to clean out. But um, I'll show you a few. You got to clean these two through the back. If you're gonna do this, let me flip you. Um, I'm using tip cleaners for a torch, you know, just basic little tip cleaners. And um, what I did was I took these, and I went ahead and put them in those holes. If I can get it to go. Let's try this one. And you're just going to clean it out. All the little holes. Push clean through them. And then you'll do your other side. Same way. And after you get done with that, there's a lot of more holes. See, there's those two. I cleaned them both ways. In this way and out that way. I tried to get as much crap out as I could. There's a hole there. I cleaned just because. There's these little holes right here that I cleaned. There's these holes. I cleaned with the little tip cleaner. I cleaned out all these little vents on the side. I flipped it around. There's little itty bitty ones right there and right there. I cleaned them out. I also cleaned, where are they? I know they're around here somewhere. There they are. These top out, those little holes right there. Cleaned all of them out. Okay. And then you're just going to put it back together like you took it apart. Now, this is the easy part. Put that sucker back on there. Yeah, you gotta get that little pin lined up. 